exactly on. like her. This is so close. This is Angelina, and today we're going to be creating her metahuman using Unreal Engine 5. And you are going to learn exactly how we do it step by step. Using metahumans, you can turn anyone into a photorealistic avatar, and they come rigged head to toe ready for production. And the best part is, it's simple and free. We started by 3D scanning her using an app called Polycam, then cleaned it up in Blender and took it to Unreal Engine 5 to process the metahuman. We took it to the metahuman creator website to do the final customizations to turn Angelina from this to this. Let's get it. Today we're here for the photogrammetry workout. We've got Angelina right there. First time doing photogrammetry? Yeah. Our first time doing photogrammetry, we're gonna be 3D scanning her face. We're gonna go three loops, eye level, high angle, low angle. So when you're doing your photo scan, make sure your subject is comfortable. Angelina needs to stay still while we're doing the scan. That's why we have this video in the front. So when I'm moving and scanning her, she's not gonna be looking at me or get distracted. This is gonna be the solution. Good? Let's do this. Are you ready? Good? Let's go. Right. Start at high level. Ready? We're using the photo mode on Polycam. So we have all these photos. We try to do an orbit at eye level and then high level and then low level and then we did close-ups. What you want to do is remove the photos that are out of focus. Even though you think they give details, they actually don't. They're just going to ruin your polygons and your texture. So you want to get rid of them. And then you can go for processing. For the processing, we're going to go full and we don't need to turn on object masking because that's for like small items. And I'm going to upload and process. So what we're doing right now is going into Polycam. What we have to do is export this and put it into Blender. And how we're gonna do that is click this download button and export it as a GLT. And once this is done, we're gonna bring it and import it as a GLB5 within Blender. Sending it now. Open WhatsApp, download the GLB file. Unreal Engine 5 only needs the face. We don't need the body, the neck. And so we're gonna do all the cleanup here. First step is to import the GLB file. Say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dude, that looks beautiful. Oh, a Aside from her eyelashes, there is almost no artifact on her face. This is a clean scan. The way she's sitting is just Ooh. so majestic. This is like, like a very chill. Wow. wow. This is so close. She looks like a doll. If you look at the scan, her eyelashes have become part of the texture. But I feel like we can actually recreate her face texture on Unreal Engine 5's MetaHuman Creator. What you want is the face. The goal right now is to go ahead and clean up this geometry and remove any unwanted part of the model, which means everything else but the front part of the face. And we're gonna do that by going into the edit mode and literally removing the vertices that we don't need. So I'm just gonna go to the toggle x-ray mode. Just gonna hit C so I can do this as quick as possible. I'm just gonna quickly get rid of her body here and X vertices, so that's gone. We do not need her hair either. That is going to be recreated in the MetaHuman Creator. So we're gonna remove this. One thing you can do actually is, is just open another window right here. And in this window, go out of x-ray mode. You can potentially even go into like the render mode just to make sure you're not getting rid of anything uh, necessary. Take a look at this, boom. If your ears are not covered by your hair, you can keep them. But since hers are, I'm just gonna get rid of them. This, this looks like the Game of Thrones so scene. The yeah, of the faceless. Faceless men. I wish Game of Thrones followed through. Had a better through. plot. Followed for through that for shit. that. That was the most exciting Based part of for two me. Season. The more time you spend here cleaning it up, of course, it's going to propagate into the results that you have. I'm pretty happy with this. Next thing that you're gonna do, you need to clean up the mesh before we send it to Unreal Engine 5. The MetaHuman creator doesn't tend to like meshes that are dirty. Once you look at the mesh right now, you see it seems like it's broken. That's because the different parts of the mesh are not connected. That's what happens when we use Polycam. There's three steps to follow, very quick, very easy, that you need to do before you import this within Unreal Engine 5. And you do that by going to the edit mode, select your entire mesh, and go to mesh, clean up, delete loose, and look at the bottom. It removed some of the vertices that were extra in the scene that you didn't need. Select your mesh again, go to clean up, degenerate, dissolve, and merge by distance. It's going to remove 274 wow, vertices. These are extra vertices that you do not need. And now the model is all connected, as you can see when I select it. So now that we're done, we're going to select this as part of the object that we want to export. Go to file, export, FBX, and make sure you have selected object because we don't want to 
export anything else but the mesh and just gonna click mesh since that's what we're exporting we do not have animation for the material if you want to have the material in there because we are going to use a material change the path mode to copy and click on this button embed textures to send the textures in your fbx file export fbx we're going to go out of blender and save open unreal engine 5. damn right you have epic games open you want to go ahead and open the engine version that currently supports MetaHumans. And you can do that by going to the bottom. If you don't have the MetaHuman plugin installed, go to the marketplace and install it. But if you have it, then you have something like this, MetaHumans installed here. If you can check create a project and you can see the engine versions that are available. Right now we are on 5.2, but 5.2 doesn't support MetaHumans. So that's why we need to go back a version and create for 5.1. Punch engine 5.1.1. So we're gonna go to the film and video live events. I'm gonna open a brand project, just have ray tracing on. This is just something I do all the time. Project location, the project name, and hit create. Hello darkness, my old friend. Yeah. If it's the first time you're opening up a project, it's very likely that you have to compile shaders and wait a while, so be patient. Patience is key. While we have time, go answer some comments and I'm gonna subtitle our video. Don't waste any time, bitch. Unreal Engine 5 is finally open. So we're gonna go to edit, go to plugins, make sure you have MetaHumans installed. It's not installed, so put it in there, click yes, restart. <laughs> and wait again. <laughs> all right, now that we have MetaHumans in there, all we have to do, open a content browser by hitting Control Space, make a new folder here, all right, new folder. I'm gonna call it 3D Scan, and we're going to import the 3D Scan that we have. I'm gonna drag it, drop it in here, import all. It's beautiful, we have Angelina's face scan. You don't have to do this, I just like to view it. You can just drag it and drop it in the scene. Just see what it looks like. Scale it up and it looks great. We're going to add search for MetaHuman identity, right? Call it whatever you want. Save all, like always. Open the MetaHuman identity. And once this guy is open, it's going to probably connect to Epic Games. The reason for that is because it's going to be using the MetaHuman Creator website. So once you're in the MetaHuman identity, you want to go to the top left section, components from mesh, click that. And here we want to add the face scan to the scene. We see it right over here. If you don't see it, search for it. Boom. What we're going to do is just bring the camera down just so it's at eye level. And the next thing we're going to want to do is click on this three bars. Make sure to fill the view is somewhere like 15. And the reason we do that is because you want to get a flatter face because we're going to be using that scene right here to recognize the landmarks on the face the eyes the eyebrows the nose and the mouth we're gonna go to unlit unlit just make sure there's even lighting all across our face again better for finding the landmark all we have to do is go and choose our body type essentially you can always change these later on but for now we're just gonna go with something that suits the character we want to go for you're gonna go to neutral pose and the reason why you go to there is because you need to now promote a frame you're gonna tell Unreal Engine 5, I wanna lock this frame, use this frame to recognize the face landmark. So you wanna go ahead and click promote frame. And now it's locked this frame. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is click track active frame. Track active frame is going to automatically find the landmarks on our face. Let's see if it can do a good job, even though our eyelashes are kind of messed up. And wow, wow, that you got is- the eyes. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly adjust this guy. This guy, bring him up. I have, as you can see, a reference photo of Angelina. Make sure you take reference photos of your subject. Even though her eyelashes are covering her eyes here, I'm just gonna make sure if it's done right. On the left, top left, it should come a bit lower. So I'm pretty confident about this. Once you're done, it's time to go for that MetaHuman identity solve. Boom. That's the moment. Okay, so we're essentially done. Before you go to Mesh MetaHuman, which sends this model to the MetaHuman Creator website where you can further customize it. You can actually check the mesh right here by clicking B. Oh, wow. We have her face mesh. And if you want to see this is something that is close to the mesh or not, it's actually very easy to do. All you got to do is hit neutral pose, hit template mesh, and I can now go around the model and you can see wow, this good. is the perfect fucking face mesh. We managed to get Angelina's face mesh to the dot. We're just gonna quickly go back to A and B. Wow, so you can this see. is perfect match actually. And in the B menu, you can take off the template mesh or actually the neutral pose. Overlaying her own face on top, you can see the nose is on point, the lips are on point, the cheeks 
are on point. Actually, I think this is the best meta human they've ever made, probably. All right, click. Okay, so mesh meta human. This is going to send it to the meta human creator website. Why don't we go ahead and open the meta human creator website, metahuman.unrealengine.com. Unreal Engine 5.1 is the version we're going for. So launch MetaHuman Creator. Your MetaHuman is now available in Creator and Bridge. We do not need Unreal Engine open at this time. So we're just gonna close it. Just make sure you save all, click refresh. Now it's gonna come in as a mesh with no textures, nothing. Oh, Our wow. goal right now is to turn this Shit. into a Yeah, can we turn it into Eyes are now? amazing. Like it's really close. Like I didn't fuck up the eyes though. The best way to do this is like I said, always have a reference photo of your model. We're going to open up a photo of Angelina on the side. First thing we gotta do is go to custom mesh here if there's any part of her face that doesn't look like her you can actually click on the influence so you can select the region and reduce the influence just check out the overall influence see that see the difference click enable editing duplicate and unlock will keep the main version so if you fuck it up you can always come back to it we're going to do that let's start with skin assign skin texture she has a fair skin so I would say pretty light lighter yeah eyes so we're both colorblind. Oh, it's gonna be difficult. The problem is we cannot use. Okay, can we scan color her picker? image? Yeah. Color picker. There's a photo color picker that will tell you what color is your photo, and we need this because we're both colorblind. You can use this to your advantage. Let's try this. I think this is her eye color. Sorry. I think I'm right. I yeah. think it's this. So for her hair, is this? Was this her hair? No, definitely not. We might have to do custom here. Enable hair dye. We're gonna put the makeup on and everything, and this is gonna get closer. Trust me. Let's go for this. We're, we're, we're closing in on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eyelashes. If we look at long curl. Ooh. Oh my god. We're getting close. Long, thick curls. Oh my god, yes. Okay, all right, everybody, help me out here. Help me out here. If this is the color of her foundation, what color does this match? Okay, definitely not at the top. See? Be smart, people. Probably my guess is this. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, eyes, eyes, eyes. <gasps> Guys, this is gonna make like the fucking difference. Are you guys ready for this? I'm not ready for this. Are you guys ready for this? Boom. My biggest problem is that the hairs don't match, so it's hard to tell. No, I think you should try this. Yes. Oh! But I think we have to start sculpting. But you gotta be very careful, because when you move things here, things get messed up. Move these ears back. Yes. Like this. Chubbiness of the chicks that is giving it away. The, uh, detect who's the thief. They have four Section. different racks of paper. No, they cover. And they will ask, like, because they want to identify the guy, right? Yeah. Does it look the same? And then they put different. So one, oh. two, three, three, and four. four. Okay, let's do if that right do now. That, let's do that right now. If you can cut the screen. Okay, you know what's the problem, right? Easily, you can. Like, don't get distracted. Okay, yes, push it up. Oh, yes. Yes. That's a great. Too long. Oh. Wait. Yes. Use this. Better, but she has fuller eyebrows. It's not black brown. Yeah. It's got her much closer. Yeah. Much is this one, right? Eyelashes can be better. Yes. Check the... Can we copy? This is the... Oh. This angle, we are definitely close. So after an hour of customization within the MetaHuman Unreal Engine website, we now have a final result ready we represent to you Angelina's meta human right here in this idle is mode. Fucking close! Look at that, dude. I think we nailed the makeup, especially on the eyes. The makeup's great, right? I would say her general facial structure is really well done. Like the nose, the cheeks. Oh, the nose is amazing. The nose is really, really close. Yeah, and if you look at like, check this out. Check out the sad post. Dude, Dude, this, this is, is exactly so good. <laughs> this is so good. This, this is, is so good. <laughs> so we can already tell, okay, this is around 80% there. Is it complete? Is it a perfect clone? No, nope, not yet. Not. But that's the whole purpose of this tutorial. We wanted to show you in this video how you can start by scanning your friend, yourself, 
and take that scan into Blender, clean it up, take it to Unreal Engine 5, create a MetaHuman out of it, and then bring it to the MetaHuman Creator website to turn yourself or your friend into an actual clone, an actual MetaHuman. However, there is a limitation. Farad, you're aware of this. Yep. There's only a certain amount of customization you can do within the Creator website, and it will be a waste of time for us to go and keep working on this. And so, a shout out to Real Time GraphX for having a course about full on customization of metahumans. That means you can customize the hair, you can customize the eyebrows, you can go out and add your own makeup that you like. And we, Are we going that tomorrow? We're fucking doing that yeah. tomorrow. Damn right we're doing that. That's why we're gonna cut the video right here up until this moment, whoever wanted to create a meta human, they, oh, can, they can do it. They can, it will be as close as, you know, they can get in one day. Exactly. I would say this is more of like beginner to intermediate. Tomorrow's tutorial mm -hmm. is going, going to be, be advanced. Exactly. Yeah. It's going to be advanced because we're going to be importing this model into Unreal Engine 5 and then to Blender to add customizations to the mesh. Right? The next parts that will come after that are going to be for the hair. They're going to be textures in Substance Painter. The goal is we want to take this to... To our Egyptian scene. Damn oh, right. that, that's going to be fucking dope. But, 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 but. Our Discord server is open. Make sure you get in there. We're going to put all this... Nudes! Yeah. Okay, fine. Oh, yeah. We're going <laughs> <Our gonna>, <laughs> to put all the steps that we took today in our Discord. If you create any meta human, come and share it with us. We would love to see your work too. Yeah. And we also, oh, we are also going to be sharing a, a written file yeah, 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 document yeah, yeah. on all the steps in this video. For anybody who doesn't want to keep rewatching this video and wants to just look at that, although the watch time will help, so please do watch. <laughs> if you are here until now, make sure you hit that subscribe button then since you're here. See you guys tomorrow. Ciao.